you can actually train every single kind of shot when using a wall. Of course, you can train your forehand and backhand. That's a no-brainer, right? So with a volley, again, you just set it up. Okay, and as, it, as you can see, it goes back immediately anyways. So as soon as it goes back, just keep it there. Be consistent. You are in control of the ball, not the ball controlling you. Never use an open stance for a volley. Okay? Majority of it, you're supposed to be close. Okay? Pushing. Okay? So that's volley for the forehand. Now for the backhand, a little bit trickier, but it can also be done with the wall, right? It's too quick. Going back and forth, I find myself just looking at that wall and I'm not even looking at the, the ball, okay? So you gotta be focusing on the ball. Tricky, but can be done. So now we're at the service line. I'm gonna show you now how to use the wall for drop shots and slices. Gonna be the exact same thing as the volleys, but now you're a little bit further out now. It's gonna be easier than the volleys. And slice, see, slice, slice. So keep in mind, I'm just showing you how to use the wall for these kind of exercises. So individual slice shots, drop shots, or four uh, overheads tutorial will be on a separate video. And slice, and slice, slice, okay. And then um, drop shot, you can try. Drop shot, drop shot, slice. You know, you can go ahead and just try that out. Backhand two, backhand slices. Why easier for me to backhand slice? See, slice, easier. It's actually easier to hit it with the wall. Against the wall at least. Oh, that was a drop shot. There you go. That's a slice, high slice. See, slice. Oh, go here. Slice again. <laughs> there you go. If you want a cheat sheet against the wall, just keep slicing it and drop shot. It's actually pretty easy. Oops. See? Now I know it's two bounces. I know it's two bounces, but I'm just showing it to you that you can train these kind of shots against the wall. So how to do the overhead against the wall? Training, okay? Training purposes. So a little bit tricky, okay? You might get hit, but it's doable. So what you wanna do is just kind of like bounce it down to up. Instead of like hitting the wall directly, you wanna hit the floor going up so then it goes back to you high up. Like that, see, it's going up like that. So you just have to hit it. There you go. Ah, ah this is hard. If you know of any other way to train it in the wall, please, by all means, leave it down in the comment section below. I would really appreciate the feedback and suggestions. Always open to it. You can't do it against the wall. So all of the other shots you can think of, you can always train using the wall as a resource. You know, if you have no one, no partner, have, a, have the wall as a partner. You can even do it with your, in your backyard, any kind of wall. You can use and utilize the wall for this kind of training purposes. If you guys have more questions about how to use the wall in any case or situation, please go ahead and let me know as well down in the comment section below. Please give a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorial and epic videos. As always, please be epic, stay epic, you are epic. I'm Coach Francois from My Tennis Academia, your source for everything tennis. Thank you very much.